excited to talk about uh, the undeclared war. I did not know what to expect going in, and it was really quite the thrill from start to finish. Um, <laughs> what like about that. the show really caught your attention, though, that to be a part of it? I mean, what didn't, to be honest? When I got that email through from my agent, I was like, Peter Kosminski, lights going off in my head straight away. Um, the 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 story, the writing, the I mean, I mean, Peter mostly that was the first alarm bell of something really exciting because he's very well known for making very, very good television. So I was pretty excited. And then yeah, Sarah as a character, instant connection, instant obsession. <laughs> Love her to bits. Um, and just like I never really expected to be playing the lead in in a show this early on. So that was really exciting. Uh, the whole thing, I was just I was completely excited from the the second I read that email. So since you do mention uh, being the lead this early on in your career, I mean, did you find that uh, nerve wracking at all going into the production? I did about a week, two weeks before we started. So, I mean, the whole way through the audition process, I auditioned for a year. So I kind of like got used to the concept of it and excited about the concept of it. But then when I actually got the job, that's when the kind of imposter syndrome came in. And about two weeks before I had this moment where I was like, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. And then I, I all the, the doubt started and, um, it didn't last. It lasted about a week and I got over it. I, I chatted to my acting coach, Lawrence Mitchell, who's amazing. And he he like put me on the straight and he was like, look, you're fine. You're going to be fine. Uh, but yeah, I was really nervous just before we started. I was I was nervous about um, leading the show. I felt like it, it was a lot of responsibility. I didn't want to let anyone down. I didn't want to let Sarah down because I was I just love her, the character to, to death. And I, I wanted to do her justice and um, but then when when you hit the ground running, you've got no time, <laughs> no time to think about that. I was just like, right, let's get through the day and do the scenes and try and get a couple of hours sleep before we start again the next day. <laughs> so with that said, then what I do love about Sarah as a character is there's so many layers to her, but there's also so many forms of representation for her. And so I'm curious what that was like for you exploring those various layers about uh, of her through this show. Yeah, I love I love that you you pick up on how complex she is because she's a really complicated person and I, I it's amazing to play um you know a young woman at the lead, at the front of a show who's complicated and it, it, you don't often see that you don't often see um a, a young brilliant woman with lots of flaws and lots of brilliance and lots of complicated things going on at the, the center of a show as opposed to at the side or in the background or serving someone else's usually a man <laughs> character so I, it was pretty special and I kind of expect that for myself. You know, I, I, I want that for myself. I want that for my career. I want to be playing lead roles. I want to be playing complicated roles. So it was amazing. Um, and it, she is very layered and there's so many, and like you said, so many different types of representation, um, layered on top of each other. Um, it, it felt very satisfying to do, to, to play that, to represent mostly a driven, a really driven young woman, um, who's overlooked and underestimated and who gets a lot of satisfaction from proving people wrong, which is something that I share with Sarah. I like doing that. <laughs> That's awesome. It's great that to have that personal connection with a character like that. Um, so with all those layers then, uh, what would you say was the biggest creative challenge for you uh, getting to the heart of Sarah? Oh, again, great question. The, I mean, the whole thing was a big challenge creatively um i think i really developed this sense of um having a personal relationship with a character that's like a really profound deep love um and and developing that every single day when you're on set not just in your preparation that was something really creatively interesting to me but to have a conversation with your character every morning when you when you're in your trailer before you start and say like Hey, um, I love you. I trust you. And she replies like, I love you. I trust you. And having almost like a prayer, that was a real creative development that I had. I mean, the, one of the most creatively challenging things is shooting it completely out of order. So you're, you're shooting something from episode five at, at seven in the morning. And then by 11, you're on episode one, and then you're back to episode six at 6 PM. And then at 11, you're doing something out. It's just 
wacky bonkers timelines all the time and and creatively you kind of work on this narrative journey with your character and then you're shooting it and it's like it's all messed up and you're like where am I that was a huge creative challenge for me and I was really lucky to have Peter who's the writer created Sarah and her story on set being the director as well because he could guide me and say like okay forget what we've just done where are we what's she going through what's just happened where's she at what does she need what does she want and he was such a guide for me in that I think creatively that was the the biggest challenge was working out where I'm at every day when I'm doing stuff completely out of order. Yeah. So um, one of the things I always find interesting about a genre like this is just all the techno babble that actors have to try and remember for each scene. And so <laughs> I'm curious, what what was that like for you having to to try and memorize and learn all of this, you know, very intricate details yeah. for for uh, those sequences it's one of the things I was nervous about actually and Peter kind of rang me up a couple of days after I got the role and he was saying you know Sarah's uh, a genius uh, if you haven't noticed and she's a, a coding prodigy as well and I was like yes and then he's like well do you think you should get familiar with it and I was like okay and I, I kind of I like to take a challenge on um kind of intensely so I I taught myself how to code and I did uh, I learned JavaScript and C++ and I did some projects with those and I did a I watched a lecture course for reverse engineering and I kind of got a little bit familiar with Ida Pro which is the reverse engineering software that you use in GCHQ um, and I the two months between me getting the role and us starting I was just coding every day so by the time we got to the the set with the script I was like a super fan of it I was like I love this stuff <laughs> and I don't understand any of the stuff that she's doing because that's like the level that she's at is insane. And I'm right like baby steps, but I I was so excited about it. And I, I had like, if I could notice, I knew like a word or a piece of code, I'd be like, Oh, I know what that means. And it would be like 1% of it, but it was so fun. And I think it really helped because I think if you're an actor going into it with no knowledge and you see these big paragraphs of like, techno mumbo jumbo you're like what the hell am I saying and and I actually really loved it in the end so I'd recommend if anyone does any kind of Cody roles they get try their hand at some JavaScript it's pretty fun it's really fun well and and like you say it also helps you kind of look like you know what you're doing when you're on camera so yeah (laughs) (laughs) Uh, well for my final question before we go uh, you share screen time with so many great actors in this series I'm curious is there anyone that you enjoyed working alongside the most though uh, of your whole ensemble I couldn't possibly say a favorite (laughs) I mean uh, it was pretty insane that the kind of lineup that I got to work with uh for my first big job it was like what what on earth is happening is this real this can't be real Simon Pegg Mark Rylance um it was crazy I see you've got a hot first t-shirt on Simon is oh yeah up. it's actually the whole trilogy oh the whole <laughs> trilogy amazing yeah I, I mean Simon that. was amazing to work with not only just fascinating to watch him in a really serious role and just blowing everyone away with his performance in this and and I grew up watching his film so it was amazing but also just such a lovely lovely man like the kindest loveliest man and Mark I I genuinely learned so much from Mark I have pages of notes from every day with Mark just learning from him he's a master at what he does and and one of the most angelic sweet wonderful people ever Mm -hmm. I I can't pick a favorite but it it was a amazing Oh, there we go. Sorry, I, I, everything froze for a second. Um, well, that's great to hear. I, I'm glad that you had such an amazing experience on this show. Uh, I think people are going to love it when it starts streaming over here. And uh, I can't wait to spread the word. Thank you so much Thank for you. taking the time to chat. Thank you. Thanks so much. Absolutely. Have a good rest of your week. Yes, you too. Bye. <laughs>